Acting rationally, the rational agent approach. An agent is just something that acts. Agent comes from the Latin agere, to do. Of course, all computer programs do something, but computer agents are expected to do more, operate autonomously, perceive their environment, persist over a prolonged time period, adapt to change, and create and pursue goals. A rational agent is one that acts so as to achieve the best outcome, or, when there is uncertainty, the best expected outcome. In the laws of thought approach to AI, the emphasis was on correct inferences. Making correct inferences is sometimes part of being a rational agent, because one way to act rationally is to reason logically to the conclusion that a given action will achieve one's goals, and then to act on that conclusion. On the other hand, correct inference is not all of rationality. In some situations, there is no provably correct thing to do, but something must still be done. There are also ways of acting rationally that cannot be said to involve inference. For example, recoiling from a hot stove is a reflex action that is usually more successful than a slower action taken after careful deliberation. All the skills needed for the Turing test also allow an agent to act rationally. Knowledge representation and reasoning enable agents to reach good decisions. We need to be able to generate comprehensible sentences in natural language to get by in a complex society. We need learning not only for erudition, but also because it improves our ability to generate effective behavior. The rational agent approach has two advantages over the other approaches. First, it is more general than the laws of thought approach because correct inference is just one of several possible mechanisms for achieving rationality. Second, it is more amenable to scientific development than our approaches based on human behavior or human thought. The standard of rationality is mathematically well-defined and completely general and can be unpacked to generate agent designs that provably achieve it. Human behavior, on the other hand, is well adapted for one specific environment and is defined by, well, the sum total of all the things that humans do. This book therefore concentrates on general principles of rational agents and on components for constructing them. We will see that despite the apparent simplicity with which the problem can be stated, an enormous variety of issues come up when we try to solve it. Chapter 2 outlines some of these issues in more detail. One important point to keep in mind. We will see before too long that achieving perfect rationality, always doing the right thing, is not feasible in complicated environments. The computational demands are just too high. For most of the book, however, we will adopt the working hypothesis that perfect rationality is a good starting point for analysis. It simplifies the problem and provides the appropriate setting for most of the foundational material in the field. Chapters 5 and 17 deal explicitly with the issue of limited rationality, acting appropriately when there is not enough time to do all the computations one might like. 